Your iPhone is constantly tracking your location and listening to you. Worst of all, these settings are turned on by default and you need to manually turn them off. Now we'll first cover all of the location tracking and then we'll focus on listening on your iPhone. The first thing what we'll do is we'll go to your privacy and security settings and make sure that apps are not allowed to request to track your location and your activity across apps. After we've done that, we need to make sure you're not accidentally sharing your location with anyone else. Essentially, by sharing your location, anyone will be able to track where you are. Keep in mind, you might have accidentally shared that location with somebody. If you did, all you need to do is tap on stop sharing my location. But keep in mind, even if you're not sharing your location with a physical person, you could be sharing your location with Apple or with other apps. So within location services, we want to check to see if any apps are set to always. You can see in this case, Facebook is set to always. You can have it set to while using the app or never. If you don't want that app using your location, that little arrow indicates that it's used your location really recently. And that's a good indication on certain apps if you don't want them tracking your location to turn them off. Now, I would also go to the very bottom and under system services, this is where your iPhone specifically is tracking your location. In any of these instances, you want to turn it off if it's not helpful for you. I would recommend basically just following along with what I have turned on and turning that on and everything else turning it off. Now, another big culprit is this significant locations. Let me just use my face ID. You can see it will use your significant locations. This is helpful sometimes if you wanted to essentially have stolen device protection or anything like that. But a lot of times I find that this does more harm than good. And I would prefer my location, even if it's anonymized, to not be sent to Apple. Now, after going through all of these steps, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings. Your iPhone and apps are also listening to you. Let's turn those off as well. Next, we'll check to see if your iPhone is listening to you as well. There are three main culprits on here. The first one is Apple Intelligence and Siri. Let's just go into Siri, and if you have this set to Hey Siri or Siri, essentially it will constantly listen for you to say those words, and it will be listening to you no matter what. Now keep in mind, Apple has said that they anonymize this data, and they don't save it to their device or their servers, but I would recommend keeping this off and then just having it so that you can press the side button here if you want Siri to pop up, and essentially you can use it then, but otherwise it's not listening to you. Apple settled a class action lawsuit over allegations that Siri was eavesdropping onto private conversations. The next thing I would recommend doing is making sure that your phone is not being forwarded to anyone else. You're gonna dial in star pound 21 pound. Mess that up, star pound 21 pound and then hit dial. Essentially what this will do is it will make sure that call forwarding is all turned off so that you're not accidentally sending all of your calls to other devices. Make sure everything is set to disabled. The last thing that we will check to make sure is in your settings, let's check to make sure there's no certain apps that have access to your microphone when you don't want them to have access to it. So let's go and make sure that we have your microphone settings turned off for apps that you don't want access to it. For instance, if you don't want, let's say WhatsApp or TikTok or YouTube to have access to your microphone, just turn those off here and it won't have access. Another thing I would recommend doing is in the analytics and improvements, there's some things that will actually track or listen to you, including improving hand washing. You can see help Apple improve hand washing by sharing limited motion and audio data while washing your hands. I wouldn't recommend turning that on or rather any of these analytics. I would turn them all off. It doesn't really do you any good and it just shares all of that information with Apple.